and this is a listing video for my Newmar Canyon Star 3920. It is a V10 gas powered 39 foot motorhome with built in toy hauler. I'll do a little exterior review. You can see the awning is out um, on the passenger side. It has a slide out for the master bedroom area. Approximately an 18 foot awning, I believe it is. On the driver's side, about a 10 foot slide. Actually, it's a little bit more than 10 foot. I would say it's about a 12, 13 foot slide for the main living area. The motorhome mileage is uh, 21700 I purchased this uh, brand new, uh, single owner, brand new in Florida in uh, 2012, but it's a 2011 Newmark Canyon Star. Obviously the unique feature is the garage, um, which also has two queen beds inside, which allows this to sleep two adults and four kids extremely comfortably. It's also retrofitted with a built-in electric pressure washer which is has its own 50 gallon water tank underneath that supplies it. Let's see in the lift in the back drops down. It is not electric. It is a manual hydraulic assisted, uh, which makes it very easy to open, uh, bring up and down. As you can see, the two, bed, uh, two queen beds in the rear, those slide up into the ceiling so that it makes room for your four wheelers, motorcycles, golf cart, whatever you want to put in the back here. Um, it's a pretty simple lift up, hydraulic assist see one arm will bring it right up two entries the rear entry to the garage and of course the front entry plenty of storage underneath Inside, I think I already re referenced the 21,700 miles on the odometer. Uh, spacious area for the passenger and driver. Control panel for the slides, propane, water, hookups, has electric water heater and gas water heater. Of course, the awning extension and pivoting around. <clears throat> Let's see the kitchen area. Um, I mean, the, the motorhome, as you can see from the outside inside, it is immaculate. Uh, we're a very neat family, um, and, it, and it's just in great shape. A couple nicks on the outside, a couple nicks on the inside. Uh, a couple scratches on the outside, but for the most part in really fantastic, beautiful, like new condition. Full sink, half sink, electric stove top, microwave, of course the fantastic vents. Nice size refrigerator and freezer. You can see the main living area is extremely spacious with the slides open. The dinette, of course, folds down into a little sleeper sofa, uh, sleeper area. 
This is not a, uh, this is a split sofa that turns into a uh, flat sofa. It is not a pull-out sofa. You have a rear kitchen TV here with a little wet bar, actually dry bar. <clears throat> a 27 inch TV above the driver area. AM, FA, AM, FM, AM. Amplifier, Sony Blu-ray DVD player and Dish Network uh, satellite component. Here we have just some more storage. In the unit is are three two units of heating and air conditioning you have um, a dual unit here a single unit that controls two dual areas of the motorhome one in the front living section here the next and this also then in zone two will control the bedroom area uh, with an electric heat pump and of course uh, air conditioning as well um, then you can also change the mode to run the heat uh, via a furnace off a propane furnace which the vents are on the bottom so on colder nights uh, sub 30 degree nights if you're ever in your motorhome you would generally go over to uh, furnace heat and those vents will supply the heat from the ground and the heat pump air conditioning and heating comes out of the, the ceiling vents Electric fantastic fan vents. Both of these are brand, uh, sorry, the one here and in the bathroom are brand new electric hookups. Um, the air conditioning units on the motorhome uh, were defective. Um, it worked for about two years. So both units on top of the motorhome are approximately nine months old with uh, just very limited use. So essentially they are brand new. I would say we have 20 hours at most on the brand new um, air conditioning and heating units on top of the motorhome. So while it's used, you're getting uh, the benefits of me having to go through a couple of defective air conditioning units. bath and shower toilet sink another fantastic fan that one also brand new and walking into the master bedroom area queen bed the owner suite as they would say, <clears throat> with a uh, fantastic positioning for the TV. Uh, I believe that's a 20, another 27 inch Sony uh, TV. Two mirrored closets for all your clothing. And then moving towards the back and the garage area. So the garage has a roll-up carpet, so you leave the carpet down, of course, when you want to make it a living area, and roll up the carpet and put it away if you're going to put your, your toys inside. Um, slide down bed, drop down, two drop down queen, uh, if you want to call them beds or whatever you want to call them, but two sleeping areas that the electric will slide up. To the roof so this first one will push the uh, second one up all the way up into the roof area so to give you uh, plenty of walking space probably about a seven foot headroom when it's uh, pulling all the way up which I, which I won't do right now so some storage and the bed so generally this is a you know sleeps 
two adults, four kids, very comfortably. Vacuum in the back for the garage area. Car stereo system, the control. The speakers inside the garage area and outside of the motorhome underneath the awning area. Just some more storage. In the back is a, I would say it's about a 21 inch, another 21 inch Sony uh, television that's controlled um, via DVD player from this car unit. The back end of the motorhome has its own climate control system, air conditioning, and electric heat. Um, it does not have a furnace in the back, so the heating is all supplied through the electric heat. There's the bed control up and down. Uh, another fantastic fan up top. The air conditioning heating unit as well above. Hopefully this was a thorough enough review. See if this motorhome and its floor plan is something that you're interested in owning. The price will be listed um, on the listing. Um, give me a call or email me with any questions. Happy to answer any questions you may have regarding uh, my Canyon Star 3920.